Writing a Business Plan Jody Richmond, Beginning Farmer Educational Series Hello, this is Jody Richmond with the W Extension Service and Marsha Kepler discussing how to do an Ag Business Plan for your agricultural operation as part of the Beginning Farmer Educational Series. What is a business plan? A business plan is a document explaining what your business is, how it will be created or expanded, and why it will be successful. Components include a mission statement, a business description, a market analysis, and a financial plan. So why should you develop a business plan? A well thought out plan that is logical and consistent can help you see if there are any holes or circumstances that you overlooked in your business model. Your business plan can be a step-by-step -step action plan to help you plan for successes and setbacks. The more specific it is, the easier it will be to implement, providing organization and structure for your business. Your business plan can also help you obtain financing, grant, and investor support by demonstrating a carefully thought out venture. It will indicate the potential successes of your project. Any suggestions or concerns from potential supporters should be considered an opportunity and may strengthen your business plan. Your plan can also help you acquire large contracts or clients by being a structured plan in presentation format that can convey potential for large project completion and documenting your previous order history. A business plan can be used to recruit key relationships or people and in the hiring of managers or other skilled employees by soliciting related businesses to partner or combine services with in mergers and acquisitions. So again, the major components of a business plan are the mission statement, a business description, a marketing analysis, and a financial plan. While your mission statement may be time consuming, it should definitely be thought provoking. It should reflect your values and your identity as well as your vision and your goals. It should be short, clear, and concise. It should reflect what you do, why you do it, and what your intended business's future is. Here's an example mission statement from McLaughlin Tree Farm. Our primary mission is to grow and sell premium quality Christmas trees for our customers to cut fresh on the farm. In recent years, we have increased production of nursery stock to meet customer demand for fresh dug premium quality live trees. This mission statement is clear and concise. It tells you what they're doing and why they're doing it, as well as giving you an indication of their future goal. This is another sample mission statement this time from Atkins Farm Country Market. Atkins Farm Country Market is a locally owned and operated business. We strive to exceed our customers expectations by providing the highest quality selections as possible, locally produced and privately labeled goods, as well as conventional and seasonal products. We provide a safe, clean environment with exceptional customer service from staff of dedicated and knowledgeable employees. Our customer satisfaction is our goal. We believe that actively supporting community events and local organizations strengthens the community as a whole. This mission statement reflects more on their values. It is significantly longer, but it seems their business model may be more complicated as well. The next component of the business plan we're going to discuss is the business description. A business description answers questions such as, what is your business? What do you do, make, or sell? What makes your business different? What are some potential challenges or obstacles? The next component is the marketing analysis. The market analysis will tell you what information you need to make decisions regarding how you market and your customer base. What makes your business different? What do you have to offer that's unique? Why should customers or clients choose you over your competitors? How will you market your business to reach your customers? The final component of your business plan is your financial plan. What is your current financial status? Why should others choose to invest in your company or business? What are your goals? 
How will you determine if you meet your financial goals? Besides for your own business planning, who are you developing this plan for? You need to identify your stakeholders. Different agricultural businesses will have different priorities. Your stakeholders may be the bankers. Bankers will be concerned with your cash flow and the assets. Maybe investors. Investors are often concerned with the growth of your company and your client potential. It may be current or future partners. These partners may be concerned with the potential expansion of your business. It may be employees. Employees are often concerned with the security that you can provide them or possible benefits. It may be your customers. Maybe they were concerned with the services you can provide or the new markets you may be able to reach. Or perhaps you have other stakeholders that we haven't mentioned. So who should develop the plan? There are consulting firms, but no one knows your business better than you, and free help is available. The Cooperative Extension Service has economic development teams as well as farm financial management programs. There are many counties also have small business centers. More resources will also be included in a moment. How should you develop a plan? Pen and paper, pre-printed workbooks, computer software. Resources are available to give you example outlines and suggested documents. Entering the information into a computer program or spreadsheet and printing it off allows you to make changes as needed. You can then put it in a three-wing binder with tabs and add other supporting documentation. That is, of course, just one suggestion. You should use whatever system with which you are most comfortable. You can get pre-printed worksheets from various extension websites or computer spreadsheets by participating in their financial planning workshops, which are often free or at a low cost to participants. You will first need to gather your records, including production records, income, expenses, and financial records, such as tax documents, loan information, and enterprise-specific documents. Setting goals allows your business to plan for growth and change over time. In order to logically set goals, you need to realistically assess what your current status really is, determine where you would like to be, plan for steps on how to get there. Notice we're focusing on actions, breaking it down into steps. We often refer to goals with the acronym SMART. SMART business goals should be specific, measurable, attainable, rewarding, and time-based. SMART business goals are clearly defined, well thought out, which increases your chances of reaching them. In this process, you should include both short-term and long-term goals. Short-term goals are achievable within one year, and long-term goals will take more than one year to accomplish. Your business goals may focus on production, such as efficiency, yield, or quality, personnel, like hiring, recruitment, management, or skill development, marketing, like sales, distribution, advertising, or social media, financial management, such as cash flow, overall profit, cost per unit, or budgeting, or legal issues, like training, transitional planning, mergers, and partnership. You may also have noticed that these are also the five areas of legal risk management programs typically focus on. When making a business plan, be transparent. Always be honest and don't be overly optimistic. Don't try to hide your weaknesses or limitations. Always provide supporting documentation such as research and statistics. Charts and graphs can also enhance the readability of your plan. The biggest error involving a business plan is not creating one. Followed closely by not creating a thorough, thoughtful, or objective one. Perhaps worst of all is putting in the time and resources into making a detailed complete plan and then not implementing it. A careful proofread by an objective party can help avoid errors in a business plan, such as misspelled words, incorrect grammar, incomplete sentences, inconsistency, mathematical errors, or repetitive and vague statements. It's important to remember that a business plan is just one part of your business's financial strategy. Other steps include continued planning. A business plan is just the first step. Other financial and legal documents are just as important. 
such as an enterprise budget to evaluate the usefulness of each enterprise in a potential addition or of another enterprise, cash flow statements to determine the liquidity of your business, income and expense statements are perhaps the most basic but essential of all financial documents, estate and transitional planning to protect your business heirs and partners. These are just a few. Implementation of your plan is key, otherwise it's all for naught. We all know that failure to plan is a plan to fail, but many businesses fail because they do not implement the plan they spent so long making. Goals and accomplishments in a timeline. Hold yourself accountable and celebrate the accomplishments with your employees if you have them. It shows just how important it is. Remember that this document should be considered fluid. Your business will change over time. Review and revise it on schedule, perhaps annually. It's best to complete these documents on a computer so that these forms can be changed easily and hard copies can be printed and kept on file. If you don't like computers, use whatever system works for you, but do it. Additional help is available. Many local technical education centers in your community have programs and assistance. Community colleges often have programs as well. WVU Extension has both individual workshops and long-term assistance. WVU also has a women's business center as well as through some local communities. WVU has a small farm center that also offers online programs as well. WVU Extension is available in every county. WVU Extension offers many specialty programs, including an agritourism initiative, which is agribusiness training for agritourism enterprises, the West Virginia Women in Agriculture and Annie's Project, which is agribusiness training for female agripreneurs. We have food safety curriculum, which includes business documentation and certification for growers and also those that are producing specialty products. We have a beef trans program, which is an intense financial planning program for cattle producers. We also have many specialty farm management programs and estate planning programs that are offered throughout the state. We offer financial planning worksheets and spreadsheets as well. This is one example of a WVU Extension computer spreadsheet that is available. This is a cash flow statement that is in Excel. WVU Women's Business Center offers one-on-one -on -one counseling, free or low-cost training, marketing assistance, technical assistance and guidance relating to funding, a resource library, and other assistance to help get a business started. Again, these are just a few of the resources that are available. My name is Jody Richmond. I'm a WVU Extension Agent and Associate Professor from Mercer County. Um, many of the future programs that I work with are the Women in Ag Program and Annie's Project, the Agritourism Initiative, Food Safety Trainings, and the Livestock Risk Management Educational Series. Again, this was a part of the Beginning Farmer Educational Series. If you would like to reach me, I can be reached by phone at 304-425-3079 or jody.richmond at mail.wvu.edu. Thank you and have a great day.